The Weizmann Institute of Science and the Israel Space Agency are teaming up to launch a new type of satellite that could offer new insights into the universe around us. By 2023, the Ultrasat satellite will be fitted out with a telescope that is able to work in UV light, which is invisible to humans. And to tell us more and explain what is it exactly that this satellite can and will do, I'm joined in studio by Professor Ellie Waxman, who is the principal investigator of Ultrasat. Ellie, thank you so much for joining us, first of all. Now, if you can, please explain, maybe in layman's terms, because this is all very technical, what it is that this satellite and telescope will do and how are they compared to other satellites that are already in use? Okay, I will try. <laughs> um, so uh, Ultrasat is a relatively small satellite that will carry a unique uh, space telescope to a high orbit uh, around the Earth. And with its uh, measurements, we will be able to answer some of the basic open questions in astrophysics, like um, how black holes form and grow and affect their environments, like where the heavy elements in the universe uh, were formed, heavy elements meaning iron to gold and uranium and beyond, uh, how stars explodes, and many more other basic uh, questions. Um, the unique capabilities of Ultrasat are the fact that you mentioned that it observes in the ultraviolet. It's a band of light that we do not see with uh, human eyes. And the fact that it has an extremely wide field of view. Uh, the area of the sky that Ultrasat will be monitoring at any given time is about 1,000 times bigger than the size of the moon. And you can compare it to the famous Hubble telescope that observes at any given time 1% of the size of the moon. So um, what is it about the U, about UV light that makes this ma makes it easier to be able to see these things than what other telescopes have been using in the past? Um, so there are two key uh, properties here. One is the UV light. We are looking for explosive events like collisions of stars and disruptions of stars by black holes. These are very hot events at the beginning, and therefore they emit a lot of UV light, more than optical light. And the other thing is that they happen in some random places in the sky. We don't know a priori well, uh, where they will appear. And the fact that we have a very wide field of view enables us to catch these events as they go on. So this, uh, these open questions are going to be at the heart of the astrophysics worldwide community for the coming decade. And there would be many telescopes that will be trying to detect this transient explosive phenomena. Uh, Ultrasat will be by far the best uh, telescope for uh, doing this, thanks to its unique uh, properties. And it will put Israel at the forefront of this uh, major field of research in uh, astrophysics. Now let's talk about the timeline of the project, the construction of the satellite, and how long it's going to take you to reach these targets that you're aiming to reach. And to the timeline, uh, we plan to kick off the project in uh, September, this September. And we have a challenging timeline. Uh, we hope to be in space by uh, 2023. Um, this is in a collaboration with the Israeli aerospace industry and with ALOP. These are two companies that have a very strong heritage in building small effective satellite observing Earth. This will be the first time that Israel will launch a space observatory looking in the other direction, trying to answer some of the basic questions of uh, the universe.